I can fake a 35 mil picture to make it look like a six or five. Most people would not even know. I've done it before, I fooled some people and they believed it. Hey, what's good? My name is Kristen Zabadila Bella. If you're new to this YouTube channel, here I talk about film, so mostly Pentax 645. Today I wanted to talk about different formats. Um, the topic of today is gonna to be a little bit controversial because I know a lot of people will come after me, but I wanted to address this. I wanted to talk about the difference between 645, 647, uh, and 35. I'm not gonna talk about 6x9, I'm not gonna talk about 45. I'm gonna to stick to these three formats. So why do I think that many people are getting into medium format for the wrong reason? This is the conversation of this video today. Um, and I know this is so, uh, I'm talking about why people should stop shooting medium format, but I'm shooting medium format myself. And so, and, and that's why this conversation is so hard because at the same time, I want to talk about that. But at the same time, I feel like if I talk about this, especially me, people are gonna say, but you shoot a lot of medium format. So what's the point? But for those who are open-minded, <laughs> for those who want to learn, for those who want to, I know a lot of people are frustrated about this conversation, but let's get into it. So. <clears throat> why I think many people are getting into medium format for the wrong reason. Mostly when you shoot 35, when I used to shoot, um, or why I get into film, mostly it was because my father is a film shooter. So, you know, born from the 50s, you only can shoot film. So I grew up in a household where film was always there. So it was not something that I could choose from because there was only film. And it was not also like, oh, I shoot film. It was just, I'm a photographer. That was it. It's mostly in 2000s um, that you have the option to go back sh to shoot film or to shoot digital. So, um, and honestly, I only started to go back to shoot film by looking at a um, war book. So I, I used to go to library and look um, and, and read a lot of uh, war books, mostly sh uh, shot on 35 because I can see uh, someone going to war with a 645 camera. Mostly people wanted to capture many pictures. So 35 mil was the format that a lot of people used. I came across some photographers that took on war uh, six by six cameras, but mostly they were shot on 35 because you know, you have 36 exposure or 24, it's always better than 10 or 11 or 16. So it was 35 mil work from uh, people that went to the war, especially Vietnam. Steve McCary was also one of the guy that you just cannot beat it, you know, it's just the legend, the classic. So all those guys, all those three guys mostly, were the guys that influenced my choice to go back to film, even though I already shot film when I was a kid and when I was growing up. So the, the time, how did I jump or how did I start shooting medium format? It's when I came across Vivian Meyer work and also Gordon's Park and um, and other photographers, I was trying to find the names. When I came across medium format, it was mostly the Royal Flex. So from uh, Vivian Mayer and from Gordon's Park. When I saw the pictures, I was like, Whoa. I think I was mostly a fan of uh, the depth of field, uh, the format. I like uh, mostly the six by six format and also the quality. So when I was reading mostly, um, and also this guy, how do you call him? Um, um, I will put his name here. Is, is, is a German photographer that shot pictures, uh, close up pictures of people of New York and different countries. And that guy was shooting on Mamiya RZ. He was also shooting on the 
the Texas Leica, the Fuji, the 6x9. So when I come across his work as well, I was like, Whew. so this is what medium format can give you. And also, you know, as, as a digital photographers, we fantasize uh, like the, the Hasselblad and all the medium format, you know, that was like, wow. We, we, you always wanted to try shoot medium format back in the days as a digital photographer. So getting into film, having access to medium format for so cheap compared to, uh, you know, $4,000 cameras uh, from Hasselblad, it was like my first six by six camera, I think was, um, I borrowed a, a Relaflex for weeks. I didn't really enjoy it because um, it was so hard what I, where I used to live to develop film. And also when I get my files, I think I was like, my digital camera can do the same, <laughs> you know. But it was mostly when I get into um, my first really six by six camera, it was my Yashica 124G Matte. I think that's when I started really enjoying the whole process of medium format. And um, and also I got my RB67, but I was like, it's good to shoot this format, but damn, it's so expensive. And I only have 10 exposures with my, uh, my six by, by six, seven Mamiya and I only had 11 exposures or 12 exposures with my 6x6 and it was so expensive of course because I, I used to live in Paris it was so expensive to buy film to develop film it was almost like 35 dollars uh, 35 euro all the time that I will buy film like 11 or 12 dollars for film take it to the lab develop some time I wanted always high res because you know I wanted to see the high res pictures. What's the point of shooting six by seven and having lower resolution files? So I will spend almost uh, thirty five, some time, thirty dollars, uh, thirty euro or twenty nine when it was cheaper. If I scan uh, mini film, and at first you don't think about it because you're passionate, but then after I was like man this is expensive so I, I went back to shoot 35 and and this is when really the question started coming coming back why did i start shooting film why did i go back to film and i started thinking that it was because of all these photographers and this is why i'm like well what is what makes people shoot medium format because everyone say yeah because i have bigger file if you can print your files bigger i don't think a lot of people in my circle do print their files big so what's the point of saying i'm gonna buy a six by seven camera and all your pictures we know are gonna end up on instagram so those are questions that i started asking myself and that's why i also really dive in to develop and scan my film myself because I just couldn't digest the fact that I was spending that much and I was not printing my pictures, especially selling my work. I mean, I print my work sometime. I'm gonna show you this file here. This is a uh, 80 by 90. It's a huge picture and I have also many pictures in my room. But I do print my work, so I understand why medium format is important. And also I do sell my work on stock uh, photographies. So yes, it's important to have large files, but honestly, it's not that important because mostly people get into film because of the quality, because of the depth of field, because of, I mean, medium format, because of the depth of field. But let's say you have a 35 mil camera with a good autofocus lens. So let's say, I don't know, you have one of those Canon um, 650 film camera and you put on a 1.8 camera. If you do a photo shoot, mostly blurry, good pictures, bokeh, people would think you shot it on medium format. And especially if you overexpose, you do all the techniques because a lot of people also don't want 35 because of the grain. You know, it's still grainy, I don't want no grain. You don't have to have 
grain in your 35 mil cameras of course if you go crazy and zoom in into it you see the difference but if you just uh, stick with the 100 scale you don't see no grain i mean i can shoot 35 film 35 mil camera with no grain i can fake a 35 mil picture to make it look like a 645 most people would not even know I've done it before, I fooled some people and they believed it. So I don't want this video to be too long, I just wanted to say that you can shoot whatever you want, but please ask yourself why are you getting into certain format. I see a lot of people today getting into 6.7, especially the Pentax 6.7 and also the Mamiya RZ because a lot of YouTubers now have it. Um, most of our favorite YouTubers have six uh, Mamiya RZ or Mamiya RB or the 67 Pentax or even the Contax 645, which I think is just ridiculous, ridiculous too expensive. So I think 35 mil camera, especially if you have a Leica or just a, um, a Bronica, uh, no, how do you call it? Um, the cheap Leica. The Besa, I think it's called Besa. If you have one of those, or just, I have a Canon A1, AE1 and A1, and I have a bunch of other 35, you can do crazy good pictures with those. So yeah, um, go out, shoot more film. It doesn't matter what format you, you shoot. And also most one of the biggest advantage of 35, you have 36 exposures versus 10 exposures. So and also um you can if you have you, if you can scan your work yourself you can have the higher res pictures i did shot i shot some 35 format last time i scanned my picture of myself with my dslr and i was just blown away to see the amount of resolution that i could pull out you know so look man um <laughs> I know this was long, but I, would, I just wanted to get this out of my chest. So if this is your first time to be on my YouTube channel, I drop videos every Friday. I try to, I try to drop videos every Friday. Um, it was so hard to keep up because I was COVID-19. Um, I couldn't do nothing for two weeks, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to do, since we can all go out and do photo shoots, I'm going to try to have conversations like this with you and uh, let me know what you think. If you think that you also think the same, let me know why you shoot medium format. Let me know why you shoot six, six, seven format and also share with me your frustration. All right. Thank you and see you on Instagram.